will adjust the pre-match parameters uh, from the part match setup for the cube maximum size that is 0.5 height is 0.01 and uh, height ratio is 1.2 for square 0 0.02 maximum size 1 Symmetry settings will remain same. Apply. Go to blocking and uh, pre mesh parameters and update. Okay. Now turn on the pre mesh. Turn off the uh, surfaces as well as the blocks. the mesh quality and the mesh turn on the sphere the mesh on the sphere I am making some settings of the lighting Fine and uh, and capturing the geometry shape uh, like the sharp corners very accurately. Now I will turn on the scan plane to see the matching in the interior of the fluid domain. The scan plane. Also, we need the edges for the scan plane to work. So select and select the edge. Also on the other side, turn off the pre mesh. You can see the uh, scan plane, the mesh in interior. The mesh is of very good quality. So we can check the quality of the quality is uh, greater than the point seven one one. So minimum quality is point seven. Done. You can change the color of the skin plans. output the mesh to the to the fluent so first we select the solver and before that we convert the pre mesh to the unstructured mesh save the geometry so first we select the solver so we are uploading for the answers fluent. Here is the default apply, and uh, we select the mounting conditions for the cube, the wall, for the sphere against the wall, for symmetry. Condition. Now output the mesh.
about the machines of fluent their square cube dot msh before that we check the quality quality is good enough uh, the minimum orthogonal quality is 0.434 and uh, the minimum quality which is required for the by the fluent is 0.01 so it's the uh, very very high quality also we can check the uh, the screenness so mesh check uh, verbosity option number 2 and then again click the report quality so you can see that the orthogonal quality is 0.434 uh, and the uh, cell screen is uh, 0.56 and the uh, f ratio is uh, 66 and the expansion ratio is 0.65 this is good enough quality display Let's say we want to uh, make the one face uh, of the cube as an inlet, and the sphere uh, as an outlet. So we should define the part over here. Then we can output the mesh uh, with these boundary conditions. Turn off the mesh shell. That is the in. Turn on the surface layer as well. compute the pre mesh and then again convert to the unstructured mesh replace go to boundary conditions okay now you get the in condition also so delete this create new pressure inlet and delete this of boundary condition for out as well because uh, previously we defined the wall for the sphere so uh, we define this as a pressure outlet okay uh, now output the mesh file save the current project choose the unstructured mesh and output the mesh is the same quality is again same because we didn't change anything we just change the boundary conditions so this will blue color shows the inlet also we can show the outlet so this is now end of our tutorial thank you very much for listening this all and uh, we'll see you in the next lecture thank you very much